Hey, what's happening, everybody? I am Aunt Pooch. She is. I'm Phoebe. This is everyday people doing pretty much whatever the hell we want. Everyday shit. Everyday people podcast. Hope y'all are doing well. I am unbelievable as always. Um, this is a different recording day anyway. I don't think we ever recorded this joint on a weekend day, such as a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Not on purpose anyway, but looks like that's how it worked out this time. Hope that doesn't bother you folks as podcast subscribers. Thank you all for being podcast subscribers and listeners. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now in whatever podcast application you enjoy using, such as Apple Podcasts or Spotify, or even on the YouTube channel. Yes, I said YouTube channel because YouTube does do video and podcasts. Yes, video will be coming soon. Right now, I'm recording video that's not going to be on there, but it is part of our beta testing here in house. If Thank you will. God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can subscribe there. And um, yeah, let's check us out. Anyway, that stuff's out of the way. How you be? What's happening? What's on your brain? I am swell. You're such a liar. Swell. I am swell. People love that word too. And I like using it. Like you're unbelievable. It goes both ways because people don't know how to take it. No, okay. And they're like, I see. I say swell. Really? Are you swell? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same aspect of me saying you're lying right now, right? No, yes, I guess, because yeah. I'm swell. <laughs> okay. So what's been going on with you? This has been a, here in the Pacific Northwest, another week of torrential downpours no, and, and it rain. it has not. We only had the rain for like. We've two. had three days of rain, one day of sun, and then half and half today. So <laughs> it's still torrential downpours. I Here thought the, the rain didn't start to Wednesday. You, you're running your days together, but it's okay. <sighs> because I don't have any days off. There's a there's a reason there's a pond in the backyard, and yes. it's not because of the sunshine. I thought it all started Wednesday. No. Yeah, we need to get some fish back there. Not happening. But what's been happening, though? What's been happening? Yeah. People want to know. They don't ever want to know about me. They want <laughs> What know about you? <laughs> I don't believe that. I like, promise you. I I I guarantee it. Well, <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, then what has been happening with you? Nothing has been happening with me. I just Maybe been, that's why. I am. I am. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you saying taken. nothing's been happening with you? Point taken. The only thing that's been happening with me is still on the gig hunt and the job search tip or whatever you want to call it, and um. Uh, putting content out as best I can, as often as I can, that makes sense because I'm not going to just post stuff just to be posting it because that's just not my personality. I mean, granted, that is like the content strategy. Yeah. Um, but it's not my personality and I refuse to do things that ain't genuinely me, you know? I mean, other folks can do that if you want, have at it, but I, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. You know what I mean? And, if I, you were and I know that's taking it a bit far. Hyperbolic. Fake. Full fake. Yeah. Folk. I'm just going to be me. You know and if I mean? that's what it is, if that's if you don't get the hankering to do content every day just because you get, you know, yeah. wait for the hankering. And then there's also the aspect of burnout, too, because I've been down that road years and years and years ago where I felt it coming. Burn and, out. Yeah, I felt it coming. And then I was like, dude, no, this this ain't this ain't even paying your bills. You know? Oh yeah. So why 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 am I why am I doing this? No, just 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 Do chill it. out. You know? It's fun. Right. While you're enjoying it. I, I feel that. So I said, no, nah, I'll slow down and, and I didn't burn out and I was okay. Um, but this week I did one blog post, I think. Yeah, I did one blog post and I did a YouTube video yesterday at the time of this recording. And that YouTube video, boy, that was um, provocative, <laughs> to say the least. Which one of you is saying the real, talking real about 
creators. Yeah, about creators being paid, you know, because I actually got people loving that that I reposted. I don't know. If no, that's you're... that's 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 why I'm saying it's provocative. It provoked people to respond one way or another. Oh, you know. Um, but yeah, I had previously mentioned. Did we talk about it like last week or the last time we recorded where I saw that gig for two hundred and fifty bucks? Yes. You know. And so I riffed on that in the the YouTube video. So what you see on TikTok and Instagram is a sixty second clip that I pulled from YouTube and just sort of cut up and whatnot with the assistance of AI. Um but the full video is about twelve minutes long, I think. So just go to YouTube and watch the full video if you don't mind, because I go into a little bit more detail on, you know, being a content creator and the fact that people don't want to pay you, you know, and the fact that people specifically say, hey, I love your work. Can you shoot this for me? Sure. It's going to cost you million dollars. Oh, I can do that by myself. Yeah. And then it turns into that. So, yeah, yeah, go go check that out on YouTube. But I appreciate everybody that's been watching it and responding. Um, I'm curious to hear people, people responses that are not creators, because, you know, most of the remarks that I saw came from people in the creative space. It was at least 80, 20, 70, 30, you know. Mm. from from the responses that i saw there were some people that weren't weren't creators but most of the people were in the creator side of things i'm curious to hear more on the people that are the consumers you know or (laughs) just neutral that's like asking people who have never been in the service industry to make a comment about being a server or tips sort of because this is a lot of people mm-hmm. who have never worked in the service industry will be quick to say, "Yeah, um, they get paid by the hour. I don't have to tip them." All right, All right, and you know, and I know that photography is different, but <clears throat> excuse me. Look at you turning away from the mic like a damn pro. Holy I, shit, did y'all see that? Oh, you didn't see it because I'm not showing y'all that particular video yet. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like that, that makes me think because as soon as you give them the price, they're thinking about what they would do with their camera and take it somewhere to get it, those photos printed off. And they're thinking that you're going to do the same thing, not looking at the fact that you like these photos because they're some of them have probably been doctored up which takes time yeah i'm not gonna say doctored up i am gonna say retouched retouched yeah because you doctored up has a negative connotation oh sorry well we can please and thank you cut that out there's an edit mark editor mark that down all right edit 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 there's your time (laughs) anyway you're able to um make sure that the photos are presentable for the eyes i try you do yeah i try but people don't understand that you get what you pay for i deal with it on a daily basis like people come in and they sit down and they start to get their manicure and they see me starting off as soon as they start oh wow Mm -hmm. nobody ever does this Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you're paying, yeah, your services are, are a lot more expensive than the typical manicure shop at the right. local plaza because you get a whole lot more, yeah, for your butt, yeah, and you get what you pay for. Most of the time, you get what you pay for, so yeah, people don't want to pay anymore. Yeah, well, I, I get into all of that in that yeah. video. I, I don't. I, I'd rather y'all go watch it over there and share your thoughts with me. And uh, or with the show, you know, just shoot an email to podcast at antpruitt.com. We've gotten some feedback this week um, from previous episodes. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, watching, listening, watching. And, and I also got a message. I want to give a shout out to my homie, Matt. 
as I just turned the light off accidentally in here. My bad. Um, my homie Matt Lee. I've known Matt for man, long time. It's I'm guessing it's pushing <laughs> right at a decade now that I've long known Matt Lee and his family. Um You didn't know him before Isaiah was born? No. No. Um but anyway, he reached out because he started listening to the show and his comment, if I remember right, it was along the lines of, man, that was, it was so good to, to listen to your show. It felt like you're just sitting in the room hanging out. And that's what I needed to hear because that's what I hope that this this is. You know, I'm... Thank you, man. But we're not trying to be, you know, who we ain't. Because <laughs> you and I, we are just... I am Regular an actor. Everyday cats, you know. I'm an actor. I can be whoever. Yeah, you can. Why is my light fixture? You Jesus. might not have those kinds of skills, no, nor do I don't. you even wish to have those types of skills. But, but it, I appreciate him reaching out and sharing that and I listening. Do too. And he's got a show called The Jam Hole that I listen to. I've been listening to that for years. Yes, he has. He calls it comedy podcast i don't know if i'm going to call it exactly comedy podcast but i do find it hilarious sometimes i do find it frustrating uh because of some of the stories that they read on there but it's the jamhole.com check them out there he's also a musician too um and then we got some more feedback from um your sister or you don't call her your sister you call her something else sissy sissy most um, sissies calls other sissy sissies. Oh, okay. Because I can't say that I call my sister sissy. You're not a sissy. No, you're right. I am not a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a show title. Got that, All right? I am not a sissy. <laughs> that didn't mean anything, but it was yeah, the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, funny. Well, she sent in some feedback to podcast at antprit.com. Um, there's a couple of things here. And the beauty of this here endeavor that we got is I don't have to go through all of these right now because we can record any deck of time we want and come back to some of this stuff. So I wanted to pluck out number two. Oh, shucks. Stupid zoom. See, again, because I did the symbol. You see what's happening to the camera there? <laughs> I didn't know what that was. I was like, "Why is that happening?" But That's maybe Matt. I thought it might have been your. It's Apple. Apple. Wow. When you do certain gestures and and all that, y'all. I'm sorry. We just had an ADD moment. But I think if I do this little heart thing, it pulls up hearts or something. You're not doing it right. Okay, so I clearly don't know how. But <laughs> <laughs> I and and, it's, and I don't care. But anyway, back to the feedback here. Um. She number point number two, she says, uh, dream vacations. What's your bucket list of destinations? And I love that because I think about that kind of stuff a lot. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot a lately. Lot. And right now, I damn near say my dream vacation would be freaking Paradise in um uh Paradise Boulevard in Las Vegas on the strip. <laughs> Just take me uh, to the strip. Belize. Belize. Why Belize? Because I want to go to a um, some type of outside mud bath rejuvenation. Yeah. Um, get your self together. Adventure. <laughs> Why Belize? You, I mean, we're in freaking Sonoma County. There's stuff like that here, right? Well, yeah. If you find me, well, I guess, yeah. I thought so. Yeah. I don't know why I say Belize because it's somewhere I've never been. Okay. Fair enough. I haven't I, been to I, a lot of places. There's no though. wrong answer. I was just curious. That's yeah, but, that, but with saying that out loud. <laughs> 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 saying that out loud, like now, it's a lot of places mm. I haven't been. Even mm. right here in California because right. it's giant around This us. state is so freaking big. Mm. And and we've only seen the tip of the iceberg and most of what we've seen has only been in passing because we've been on our way to somewhere else particularly uh northern oregon or some shit or, i finally or made it to to la yeah that's we've right. been out here four years i just made it there this past 
Yeah, yeah, we went this summer. I, okay. Yeah, went this summer. It was this summer. And um. Yeah, it was summer, and it took all that time just for me to go there and visit. People don't realize how far away Los Angeles is from here. Yeah, it's not close, and it's a boring drive. Yep. Oh my goodness, I don't want to do that ever again. I know I'm gonna have to. I'll do. I'll do it again, but I don't. I'd, I'd rather fly. <sighs> but it's a. It's it's like a ridiculous flight. The flight is maybe an hour, maybe. Well, it's like going from Charlotte to, to Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, and that flight is like thirty minutes. <laughs> well, it's so it's such a useless flight, but you don't want to drive it's only four a hours. Four hour drive, yeah. but Atlanta, I mean, but L A is more like eight. No, it's like six or seven. I forgot we went. It's like six or seven. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like eight. No, we went out. I understand that, but even with going out, I feel like it's still yeah. eight. So Belize is your dream destination. No, I want to go to. <laughs> oh, damn, change mine that quick. I want to go to uh, Aruba. I've uh, already been to yeah. Bahamas. Yeah. Jamaica. You can keep Jamaica. Keep it. I'll go down there for a track meet. What That's is it. The rest of the song. Uh, Jamaica River. Jamaica River. Bermuda. I've never been to Bermuda. Bermuda. Where? Bermuda. Bermuda. Okay. I've been to the Bahamas. So you just want to go to an island, basically. Key Lago. Really? You, so you're just going to recite a song now? Montego. Does that place even exist? Or you just hear it in the song? Do you know that it exists? Montego Bay. <laughs> Kokomo. So you just want to go to an island. I just, I really like water. Yeah. I like oceans and seeing how the different oceans. I really like the mountains, even though if I do go to the mountains, it is a, a, a hibernation. Yeah. I don't want to go to the mountains and have to leave the mountains or where, every, wherever we stay. Yeah. To, um, go somewhere else because the mountains is not built for that in my opinion mm -hmm. going to the mountains is like oh it's time for me to go and hibernate into the room not come out eat mountain get they, fat mountain gain about be, 10 pounds yeah, and I, just sleep eat maybe I get, get in the hot tub get out just but when i yeah i think mountains is <laughs> i think that be the more of that would more define all inclusive in my opinion versus going to an island somewhere is it you go to a mountain everything should be right there right on there. that property that yeah. should be all inclusive because yeah. most of the time you're not going to have a signal wherever yeah. you are if you're in the mountain so no signal um the roads are going to be not you know they'll be drivable but they're not you, you don't want to be out ripping and running exactly. you want it all to, yeah it, that should be more all inclusive kind of thing. And yeah. also you're supposed to get out and like want to climb the mountain. No. Right. So that's why yeah. I'm I, not no, thinking about no, that. No, you can hike without climbing mountains. You can hike though. I don't know. I mean, come on, you it's Miss Hippy Dippy, you don't want to go out into the woods and what do they call it? I don't want to go up wood a mountain. Baiting. No, you don't have to go up the mountains. <laughs> There's trails that are flat in the valleys or whatever if there's flat trails that's different if it's some, and then some no you like, don't have to little, go up the rocks and stuff like that you don't yeah. have to climb no it's I'm, not I'm, like going to kramer mountain not no. kramer mountain crowders <laughs> crowders, crowders mountain, mountain. Yeah. but anyway on to the next uh, so you've been busy you have i'm glad you're busy yeah not busy enough but Getting there. You, you are getting there. It's happening. I it's am. happening now. I want to I, I wanna go on one more feedback here, though. Um, this one came from Joe Esposito, and it actually was a little bit longer, so I cut it <laughs> just to, you know, for production's sake. Joe Esposito is a, um, I've met him through the Twit audience. Nice guy. He's also a creator. I believe he's also an IT professional, too. 
So let me just fire up this here. So let me hit this button. So uh, here's a question, and you don't have to play this on the show. You can just basically say the question. Well, since since you said want. it, I am. But I'm curious play. because, as you know, I'm also not a native Californian. I don't know if you could tell that by listening to me talk for a little bit. But I'm not from here. But I've been out here for a lot longer than you have. Let's, I moved let's out pause here this in... for a second here. Oh. Hey, Biscuit, how about you shut your mouth, dude? What are you barking at? Jake must come home. That's probably what it is. I didn't hear my phone buzz for him. All right, anyway, back to you, Joe. Four. So I've been out, oh God, I've been here 20 years. 20 years and I will never feel like a Californian. Let me tell you, it ain't never going to happen. But one thing I was curious about, and of course extend this question to Queen Pruitt as well, is what what is the weirdest stuff about being in California to you? Because I know there's there's good stuff. I like being here, don't get me wrong. When I When I talk about California sometimes it may come off like I don't like it. I do love it. I, I'm I'm very happy to be here. But there are things that I just don't know that I'm ever going to get used to. I'll, I'll name two right off the top. One, the slanted parking spaces. Now don't get me wrong, New York does have slanted parking spaces, but it is a minority of the parking spaces. Most people park straight. I do not understand this whole slanted parking lot thing <laughs> what, because it's apparently, uh, at least in some of the cities, it is against the city ordinance or whatever Let's to see, back into a that. slanted space. California Why? definitely has Can some people in California not back into anything? I find this as well. People don't know how to back into a parking space. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently out here, at least for a while, I don't know if it's still like this, you had to take which I didn't. That may explain why I was in multiple accidents when I was younger. Plus, New Yorkers drive like scumbags. We do it on purpose. But out here, they have to take, uh, or at least had to. My wife did. She had to take a mandatory, uh, you know, like the uh, driving class. Right, a driving class. But then there's this part I thought was funny. Joe is um, New Yorker. (laughs) Just leave it at that. It's ridiculous. That's one thing. Here's another one. There are not a lot of good delis around. Now, I don't know about Carolina. I, I, I never spent enough time there to know. But New York, you can find good delis everywhere. Uh, and not just Italian delis, but German delis, all types. Mm. And out here, hard to find them. There are places that call themselves delis, and I want to laugh at them. I don't because I'm, you know, I try to be nice in public. But I sit there and I go, this is, you call this a deli? This is nothing. Okay, Joe, first off, I, I, I got to call you out because a New Yorker get it on the mic and ranting that there's no delis around, around here. <laughs> That's like, like bro, you, you, you fallen into that stereotype there, huh? Nice work, Joe. But thank you for sending that in. What is uh, considered a deli? Like a sandwich shop? That's it? Like- that That's my definition of it. But Mr. Joe Esposito would have to um enlighten me you probably have some pasta in there or something like i don't others. i don't know i only think sandwiches and when i think of delis i think of um uh cats up in new york which i didn't get to go to and they have the pastrami and and just the, the, just run by jewish folks and lots of di- different meats yeah and, and you could build your own sandwich they build or, it, yeah. Um, but it, it's it's the shit, you know. But I've seen sandwich shops see? here because here is all freaking sourdough. Everybody's that's out there the thing. only sandwiches that I see. But sourdough, it's good for you. Yeah. And delis, if Fermentation. it's not, if it's not good for you, out here, you might have trouble finding it. Yeah. Like if it's something that tastes delicious. You might. <laughs> no, there's good fun. food. Here. There's some no, good there's, food. There's some but really good food here. We've had some. It's just not a variety. I'm sorry. There's no variety of food. Like I would think that it would be, but it's a part. We of- have to go more towards the city. Right. That, that it makes it's it's a lot more there. Of that's course. what that's what everything is. That's where black people are. Mm-hmm. In the city, that's where the food is in the city. That's where... I like the food that's here. There's supposed to be some Especially culture the there, but Mexican. there's no way that there's culture in the city either. Yeah. Not like that. Like, But what is what is the... To answer this question, the weird thing about the state. Well, so far, merging traffic. 
I have noticed that. Okay, so when you're merging traffic out here, have you noticed just, and I mean, I even stay far back. Okay, so you see the arrows yeah. come up, okay? So if you're getting onto the freeway, you got the arrows. People, even if there is a space for them to get over, before the arrows run the fuck out, they still will wait until the arrow runs out before they get over. I wait. I literally wait back here. I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, let let the traffic in. Let pe- let the people that are getting on the freeway let them get in. Let them get in. They won't get over until the, there's no more space to go. I don't mm-hmm. care who it is. Like, I'm like, these people, it has to be here. So is there a, a law that says that you don't get over when the arrows are starting? Like, before the arrows? It, that first arrow that's saying merge, left. <laughs> Why are you not trying to get over there? Why do you keep on going? You just keep going. And it's a lot of merge lefts over here. Oh Lots God. of merges. You know that before you're getting on the freeway. Like, it's so frustrating. I Already, swear. not just that. We can't even drive in the passing lane. You can't that's, drive that's in the passing that's, lane. That's all no, metro I have though. never experienced this until I drove, came out here. Yes, Charlotte, I grew up in Charlotte. Charlotte's but got HOV lanes. All of the places that I was in Charlotte or experienced evidently or at night or never i didn't go to those areas yes and there's parts i know there's but even going uptown downtown whatever even going there it's uptown and i didn't have to deal with any of that Getting no. on 70, none of that. I didn't, I've never had to deal with that. No, that's because you were, we were very close proximity, so we didn't have to fight HOV lanes like that. But if you're going on the outskirts, like it was uh, Matthews, Concord, um, uh, what's those other joints? Um, like, what? like Norman and all of that stuff. All of the stuff on the outskirts, the HOV lane was, was, was a was a problem for people. I don't even remember seeing it, but it drives me nuts yeah. that you got people trying to get on to the freaking freeway. They're trying to get on. They're trying to get on. You got three lanes. You got the diamond lane. Yeah, that's you got the true. middle lane, and you got the people trying to get over. Plus the slow lane plus the people trying to get over i can't get over to the diamond lane because i'm by myself Uh, so nobody in the middle lane can get over so traffic just stops um, until those people get to the last absolute last arrow to merge over as if this was their first time driving on that road too because you know this was part of their morning commute they have to know that that lane is gonna end why not go i mean it i did it this morning i wish i I, you know would have taken my phone out or whatever but i just sit there and watch like i'm just gonna see if these people i'm gonna have all of this space i want all of this space. I'm not going to let anybody get over here. You got this whole open space and they will not get over. I'm even yelling in the car for them to get over. Like yeah. they can hear me and they cannot, but <laughs> I'm listening to you. And I swear this sounds like you would be uh, like the female version of Hank Hill from King of the Hill. Just, that's like one of his rants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed oh, to merge. Oh, oh, that's the worst. It drives my, me nuts. My my one thing that I found weird, um, this is the first thing that popped in my head, but it's probably not the only thing. And this has got nothing to do with food, nothing to do with driving, but the fact that I could walk over or walk into a, when it, walk into the high school and go talk to the coaches and whatnot, and the players come up and they speak to the coaches, and they they call the coach 
by their first name. Yeah. They don't say coach so and so. They literally walk up and say Jeff. That's weird. That's it? some stupid shit there. Yeah. Why can't they just put coach in front of it? It that's some stupid shit. And that's crazy. It's I, like that out here a it's lot. It's all it's all over the place. And then they gonna come to me saying, Oh, well you say Miss Laura, that's so nice. What <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why. I mean, All I don't I know get it. So, is yeah. If I was in the position of authority, none of these little punk ass kids are going to come up and call me Aunt. Aunt. Not a one. No. Um, and it's funny because I'm, I've been in those rooms or, or not necessarily a room, but been out in the area where they've met up and whatnot. And they literally walk up to coach and say, name, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. And then they turn to me and say, Mr. Pruitt, blah, blah, blah. Wow. <laughs> I do. And see, that's what. Let, let, that's, I let think because they know I will jack their little asses up, or I don't know. But. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question. <laughs> to say and blah 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 how would you correct them if that i don't know i have i don't know the answer to that i would probably ignore them um that's just like if someone is calling me out my name i don't answer them Mm -hmm. okay you know but i'm curious to know how i would correct them but but i've never had to be in that situation the only time i've had to be in a corrective situation is the adults still call me Mr. Pruitt. And I'm like, look, man. <laughs> look, You're man. a whole adult. Freaking Sherry, Potu's mom. Mm-hmm. She still calls me Mr. Pruitt in every freaking email. Aww. And I'm like, look, Sherry. <laughs> Stop. I mean, I'm, I like may be a little bit older than you, but not by much. Come no, on. Not, no. So, yeah, it, it's uh, that's, that's the only time I've had to correct someone i feel that but i wouldn't know what i've to never say. had to correct any of these kids they always say mr pruitt the only person that i have now deputized i guess i could say deputized to not say that is liam he's um you know he's, he's graduated now mm-hmm. i mean he's he's a young grown man now I don't make my classmates call and, me Miss Pruitt. And he, but, but again, at the same time, he respects right. people, you know? So yeah. every time I see him, he, it warms my heart when I see that kid. He's um like an assistant coach with the varsity basketball team. Oh, that is nice. And I go in there he works. when I've been taking the pictures I'll see him on the bench in there, and he's all dressed up and just it. Oh, so I didn't know you got to see him. Yeah, I see him pretty regularly, and even if I see him out and about, I've seen him in the gym a time or two, and he's he's always he always comes right up. You know, it's just he's he's good people. That's a good family. They are. Those parents done something right. <laughs> I, I've only met the one finally. Oh, his mom, Amanda. Yes, yeah. it's Amanda. See, I, it's just automatic for yeah. me to do that, Miss Amanda. Yeah, I don't. Know. Well, it's a sign of respect. It is, and then they talk. Like I said at work, they're like, "We're too comfortable with our guests. Mm-hmm. We need to start using, you know, the super suffix prefix 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 pre before." There you go. Yeah, yeah, we need to start using those. I'm like, I always do. Yeah, so they clearly I, wasn't talking to you. No, they weren't, but everybody gets the whole scolded or whatever, but I don't, I think I'm the one that makes them think about it. Dude, you know. Miss, Mr., Miss, Mr. I just. Right, but, got to be careful with that, too. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, because that's another is, thing. I've, I've run into ooh. that with the gender confusion. When I tell you I'm constantly, and I'm one of those people in the movies where I'm talking to my classmates and I'm like, we did that, girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I got no shot. 
I have no shot. And granted, I do try to be empathetic and, and, and understanding and whatnot, what but man, said. it's uh, sometimes I have no shot. Um, but this reminds me of my days at m- one of my former employers that when they came in and bought us out, you know, things changed from a procedural standpoint and, you know, it was so freaking bureaucratic and it got on my nerves. But again, I knew who my leadership was and, you know, I, I had respect for my leadership, you know, and so I would address them as such, at least the ones that I did respect. Cause if I don't, if I don't respect you, I call you by your name. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that, and some people don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> but bless their heart. I'll call, I'll call you by your name. But I can remember heading down to Florida for one of my first visits down there, and someone pulled me to the side and was like, "No, yeah, someone pulled me to the side because of hearsay, where it made folks uncomfortable that I address people, Mister and Miss." Can't win for losing. But that company that bought us out, you know where they were from? Good old San Leandro, California. A. See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. They so, don't like it. Then they they let us know yeah. out here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even with me. Ma'am. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. No. But Miss mm-hmm. and First Name. Yeah. It's fine. Interesting. Yeah. Well, well, like I've, I said, I, I only I only so gave far. prefixes to those that but I if did I say, respect because I didn't respect everybody in the company, and and they probably some of them probably knew it, most of them probably didn't, because um, that's their own ignorance and and narcissism. But anyway, all right. Thank you for that feedback, y'all. Um, I appreciate that. That's fun. That, that that was that was good stuff. And Joe, again, Joe sent a much longer one um, in response to the video and so forth. But I didn't want to bring that up up here. And uh, Mr. Joe, I'm pretty sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that you know it'll be some more. I, I have more. California things. We're well, gonna leave coming. it at the driving it's, it's, thing it's right coming. now with the merging lanes and the diamond lane, which I know we have the diamond lane in yeah. North Carolina at but the merging really drives me. Yeah. I don't like Yeah. Um okay, so you were asking about this week and stuff. So what I've been doing more is the max prep stuff, and that's winding down now because they're getting ready to go into the playoffs. And playoffs, I have to bid for them, but I'm not going to bid for them. It, it's, it's, I'm not that interested in it mm-hmm. yet. Um, plus, I'd rather work on some other stuff. But with max preps, it's basically just going to these different high school games around the area, taking pictures and getting them published on the Max Prep site. Typical, fun. I, I dig it. Um, some of those gems are pretty freaking hot, so I go in there and sweat like crazy sometimes because I'm walking around trying to make sure I get different different angles, so on and so forth. And you'll take, I probably average about 600 shots a basketball mm. game, so in that area. Sound like a lot. About 600. And, and then you got to go through them. And then I go through them. And then I generally put up about 25 of them, you know. Um, but it's fun. I, I, I dig doing it, and I dig seeing the athletes out there because there are some ball players. There are some legit ball players here in this area. Yeah, you it, talk it, about it. It's, it's, it's quite surprising. <laughs> it's quite surprising, you know, because some of these kids, you look at them, you're like, you would never guess they're basketball players. You, you it ain't no chocolate it. chips in this cookie, so yeah. you think about that. And these cats walk in here, and they try to dunk on you just because you showed up. Just wow. <laughs> Let me show you something. Well, they got literally the cream of the crop. Yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> but it's been pretty fun. I've been doing that, and um, I had two meetings earlier this week. I've applied for a couple part-time gigs. 
Um, oh, I did get an offer for a part-time photography instructor, but it's starting to look like a scam. Something ain't been feeling right about it. Mm. Um, but then at the same time, the money wasn't right either because it was in Concord, California. And mm. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to need a little more money if I'm going to drive that far, mm-hmm. you know. But it's it's starting to, it, the more I look at it, because the the um, job service, what is it, Indeed, mm-hmm. they keep reminding me about it. Because they're like, hey, these people keep looking at your profile. Mm-hmm. So when I go and look at it, I'm like, something just don't feel right about it. You if know? you feel it, it's probably not. But then that money, hey, money talks too, so that money just, just wasn't enough. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's about all I've been doing and trying to figure out this studio and it's getting there. It's still a mess yeah. in here right now. It's still a mess. We're but getting there. It's it's getting there. Um new Mike is coming one day next week for you. Um, thank you again, Biodynamic. Um I'm supposed to be sending that mic back here soon. And they're cool with it and they were grateful of my shout out about said m88 microphone um but yeah that's what's been going on with me i don't have anything else to report Mm. nothing yet (laughs) nothing well it's coming that's fine i'm I'm not stressing about it at all just good let's do what we do um anything else on your brain um It's been a really busy week for me, so I'll update. You're trying to learn how to play the piano. Hell no, I ain't I know. trying to learn that, how that, to play. That I just trying joke. to. That was a joke. Learn how to read music, and I don't like it. It is another. It's womp, 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 womp. Every yeah. time the teacher, professor, or instructor, or whatever, stands up there, all I hear, I don't know if. if I automatically shut down, but when he starts to talk, it's wah, 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 right, mm. right, 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 okay, oh, right. In other words, it's just not holding right? your interest. Mm-mm. Because I don't feel like you have to know how to read music to sing. Mm. I don't I I didn't no. think to be a singer. Okay. There all right. You can be a singer. No. I don't know. Um again, you do not know. You do not have to know how to read music to be a singer. It's no guaranteed Mm -hmm. it's so many people Mm -hmm. out there that are singers and Mm -hmm. they never read no music okay i guess it depends on where you're singing who who's doing the singing because if you're being hired for your voice to sing notes at a um i don't know an, an, an old european opera you may have to read the sheet music. Of course you do. But if you're being hired because you got some pipes and someone says, you know what? I'd like for you to sing this song that I wrote for my R&B track or for my jazz track or for my country track, whatever. And they just literally give you a melody and, you know, I guess I guess you could do it that way. That's I guess I it just all depends, you know. I I I half ass know how to read music. Mm. Not all the way. I can get by. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it no more. <laughs> Cuz it has been consuming me. I had to break that last night when I came mm-hmm. home. Cuz I just wanted to laugh. I wanted to feel better. And I could not feel better. It's like a lot of overwhelming things going on for me right now in school. So that's why I didn't want to like talk about it because I'm 
I'm not really having a lot of fun right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I get it. I get uh, it. You just gonna power through, basically. I'm gonna power That's through, all you're gonna do. You're just gonna sure. power through. And you know, next time we record, I hopefully will have. To, uh, I can be able to exhale. Mm. But um, I'm I'm pretty overwhelmed. I accepted that earlier today. Um. And I'm okay with it. I didn't think I would be. I thought that I would be okay taking these two classes because one is uh, is, uh, musical theater techniques. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm just going to be singing in there, learning how to dance and sing together, you know. Mm -hmm. And the other one I thought was going to be a little bit more serious because it's acting too. Both of them are pretty serious. So... A lot of <laughs> a lot of memorization, a lot of memory stuff. So it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's I know that this is part yeah, of the news. I grind. get all of yeah. that. It's the grind. I don't have any days off, no days off. So as soon as you know the the, the boss lady say you you need to go home, we're not busy enough. I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because right. it's a lot. Plus, you know, just working and hurting. Yeah. But it's going to be all good. Yeah. You'll get through. I will have an amazing story the next recording. You'll get through it. Mm, 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 You'll get through mm, it. As a matter of fact, you got no choice, but you get through I know it. I don't have no choice. Pretty much. I know. Um, I wanted to pull up one more thing here. Um, because. I think I'm going to go to this corner store and get some sticks, some Reese sticks. Some Reese sticks. Uh, I'm I'm really fiending for the chocolate sticks. I want to pull up one more thing here uh, because it's Black History Month. You know, the time recording this is February 2nd and (laughs) Black History Month has started. And I always find Black History Month, it's going to sound bad, I find it hilarious because (laughs) there's so much... Um, like virtue signaling and, and people sort of posing, if you will, especially from brands and companies and shit like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't particularly do a whole lot of Black History Month stuff because I'm black all damn year. Blackity black, black, black. <laughs> you know, That's so what that post said. I'm, I'm, I'm black every month. February, I'm blackity black, black, oh, black. Okay. And Amanda mm-hmm. sent me a DM. When yeah. I put that post up. She said, This made me laugh out loud because it sounds better than me saying I'm whitey white. white, white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, I can never say that. It sounds so much better saying that. <laughs> I laugh. That is hilarious. That. They're funny. There's that family again. They're oh, my great. gosh. But no, I never really did too much about Black History Month. Um, but I saw this on my Instagram feed, and it just it just cracked me up. Let me see if I can get it to play here. Uh, well, it helps if I unmute it. <laughs> You gotta respect that. That was a choice. <laughs> we'll do a refresh, and now we'll let it play. History Museum. You gotta respect that. That was a choice. <laughs> this is a white guy is working at a black history. He's white. Museum. He can work anywhere. He chose a black history museum. You know that job interview was a son of a bitch. This is Roy Wood Jr. By the way, how many extra questions did he have to answer? <laughs> If you black and old, it ain't shit to work at a civil rights museum. You just walk in. Oh, uh, that's me on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> She's filling out paperwork for you on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you white, you know, grilling that dude. Asking them all kinds of questions. They had nothing to do with black history. All in that dude's face. <laughs> paperwork looks good. Everything checks out real quick. Uh... <laughs> At what temperature do you deep fry catfish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy Wood Jr. Man, wow. I 
thought that was hilarious. That it, it's that is funny hilarious. that came up for me. Because it's so true. We go history. all the way in. <laughs> all the way in. Got a whole, whole lot of questions for you. You know, but I, I will say this. In light of, the, of this being February Black History Month, it did make me think about some stuff that I felt should be shared because a lot of the people listening to our show Believe it or not, most of them are not, not from where we're from. Nope. Or not even black. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That part. Let me just say that. Not even black. So I feel some responsibility to enlighten them or at least share some of the stuff that I can remember. Um, I think back to being in elementary school and getting the lessons about the USA's founding fathers, you know, George Washington and, and all those cats and whatnot. Um, and it was never brought up how they owned slaves. You know, it was the first president of the USA, but there was never any mention of the first president owning slaves. You know, that came decade later, essentially, mm-hmm. <laughs> when it actually was presented into the classroom, you know, so I had a problem with that after the fact. Um, but, you know, we were sort of taught that these these men were heroes. You know, that was wow. that was that was the message that that I got. And I remember it plain as day through those years that these guys were were heroes, you know, and then even down to, again, being us being Carolinians, mm-hmm. Carolin the Carolinas have a lot of history. Virginia has a lot of history. North Carolina, South Carolina. There's a lot of freaking history. Um, in the city of Charleston, there was a section there, right there near the beach, and it's called the Battery. And that place is just celebrated. Well, it used to be just just celebrated oh it's just beautiful you go to charleston you go to the battery you got to go see the battery you know that was the Mm. talk and i can remember being you know in my early 20s and going back down there to charleston because i'd been to charleston as a child at least three or four times you know with family vacations and stuff but i was i was a little kid i wasn't thinking about the battery and none of that shit you know but i remember going down there in my 20s and walking down, I think it's King Street, and just seeing that environment, and you know nothing's really changed there, and it's 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 old, but it's beautiful old, you know, and you just sort of get this feeling of history, you know, and then finally going to see the Battery, and when I walked out there, it was neat looking, but then it hit me again, man, them slave boats was coming right there. Mm. you know wow. but why was this why was this place celebrated like that you know what i'm saying yes but again i needed to consider where we were carolinas and yeah. confederacy and they still like and they're that. quite proud of the confederacy and yes i said they because it's not me yeah <laughs> it's not i mean me. they're they're definitely proud of it. Mm-hmm. We can still go down the highways yeah, and, and still a, the flag. There's a big Confederate know? flag on I-85 South, roughly near yeah. Gaffney, South Carolina. And there's another <laughs> one going towards Charlotte. Yeah. This, they're uh, on the road. They're on the highways. They're on houses. They're on cars. But out here in California, it's the same thing. Yeah, they just, just use the American it's, flag. Yeah, it's a little yeah, it's slightly different. I have slightly. seen. No, it ain't slight. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> to me, I mean, it's, it's not a, different. It's a different flavor of it, I guess I could say. It's a different. I don't think it's a different flavor because I've experienced it. Yeah. They have that big ass American flag on the back of a pickup truck. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's and that's a triggering symbol to me too. It's a very big trick because out here they rather hide their Confederate flag in the garage that I've seen yeah. walking by. They have them in the garages. They won't put them on the house because that's not tasteful for California. Yeah. But they will put the American flag. Yeah. On the cars, yeah. on the houses. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. So even though 
several of the white people that I have talked to uh, as my guests or whatever, they've said the same thing. They yep. don't even like that because yeah. they know. Yeah. And the thing, and what sucks about that is the American flag should be, you know, like it's something all of us could be proud of, but it's hard when you look at the history of the yeah. country. Not yeah, yeah, the American flag, but they had that flag going into the Capitol too. Yep, sure did. Yeah, you know, so that's why when I see that out here, mm. oh, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you know, that's how we. But even in North Carolina, I'd rather see that because you I know, know what, what I'm dealing expect. with. Yeah. These people out here just. Oh, the stuff that yeah. I have been through, and, and it's different for you as a woman coming out my out they neck with whatever they want to say to me, and you don't have to deal with. Yeah, that. it's different. It's, it's different as a woman. I'm like, why are you even talking to me? Mm -hmm. But you just feel like you have the, the you just have to say whatever is on your mind. Yeah, to me. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm I, hungry. I want yeah. some Reese's. <laughs> I'm sitting here you, looking at this empty, empty ass empty box, box in of my Reese's. He got a, the Reese's sticks in his trash. Those things are so good. I yeah. I I hadn't had them in a long time. I never had them. I hadn't had them in a long time, and I had to go to the to the Walmart not too long ago, and for some reason I had to go to the customer service desk or something. I don't remember why, but I was at the customer service desk and they had these, this pallet of stuff. Oh, that's what triggered it. Just pallet of stuff. And then I saw that orange box on that pallet of stuff. And I was that's like, what it was. I said, I hadn't had one of these in a long time. And so I just grabbed the box, the whole box and put it on the counter. How many come in that box? Uh, I think it's like 20 something. I don't know, Ugh. but I, I grabbed the box, put it on the counter and handled my business or whatever and, and asked the lady if, if she could ring these up. And she looked at me and she was like, no. I said, there's a code on it. I'm sure there's a code on it. Just scan the damn code. I didn't say the damn code, but just scan the code. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, that code didn't work. And I said, all right, so this is what you do. <laughs> because I could see she was struggling Wheels with this. Wheels turning. And I said, so this is what you do. You can open that box. You can pull one out, scan that one, and then change the quantity. It says there's 24 in this box. I'm mm -hmm. buying 24 of these. And it's, and she, she looks at me just like, oh, that's brilliant. And I'm like, mm -hmm. isn't that crazy? Boy, that's common sense. That's <laughs> But I guess it's not common for some no. somebody to walk in and say, I even, want a whole We can't even say case. common sense anymore. No. Because there's, I mean, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Even the professor said it the other day because she could smell how rank it was in the class because we're in a dance class. So she yeah. was like, you know, it should be common sense for you to take showers People. and use deodorant and stuff before you come to class. But it's not common sense so i'm going to go ahead and say it to you make sure that you wear deodorant before you come to class and take showers yeah but now you I know, know everybody don't wear deodorant it's a trigger for some people they, they don't want to do that i know but it stank yeah they stink. so if they don't want to wear deodorant they need to be ready for people to tell them that they stink yeah I you agree. don't smell your uh, aroma is not appealing to me <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand have to deal with that. that you choose not to shower or um, use or not shower, but I understand that you choose not to use deodorant. But you have to understand that <laughs> that my nose is not handling it's your, not your handling right now, that so, right, or ma'am, because it's women too. Some women oh, functify. They don't want. Good gosh! All right, I ain't got nothing else on my brain. Um, do you? No, I'm looking at Kylo with his gray eyebrows. He's he's aging. His eyebrows are gray. It's getting feet. grayer and grayer. His feet right? gray, his nose is gray. Yeah, I'm talking he's about sitting here dude. dozing off like y'all need to go to bed. I'm ready to go to bed. Y'all in here talking and I can go to sleep. <laughs> Too damn loud. Go to bed. All right, folks. That's gonna do it for this 
week's episode. Thank y'all for hanging with us. Thank you so much. And um, telling other folks about the show. Thank you so much. Weekend is coming up. Hopefully you'll be able to enjoy a simple pleasure such as a, I don't know, a shower beer. A shower beer, a, shower a beer. beer in the shower. Do not, do not underestimate the power of a shower beer. Or a bath beer. Or a bath beer. Because I've been soaking the hell out of my body. This, <laughs> so, so, and it's nice. So take some time and, and do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for someone else, even if it's just two seconds of giving someone an ear. Because this crazy ass world needs it. Also, do me a favor and do all of that good old algorithmic stuff where you share the show with other people. Um, Click like. S- likes, subscribes, and all of that good stuff. And even on the YouTube channel, even though the YouTube video is just going to be a still and maybe a video B-roll or something here or there, you can still hit like Thank there you. and hit share there. Um, because I'm just going to say it like this. Y'all share... <laughs> Most people, I'll say it this way, most people share the most ridiculous stuff to other people. And it ain't worth my damn attention. Mm-hmm. So I know it ain't worth yours. You know. share it. So share this stuff because it's worthy. You know well, I mean? we're going to make sure we keep it to where you can be entertained the entire time yeah. and we'll have more to talk about yeah. do you think we should come back before the super bowl or after the super bowl this most people don't care <laughs> there's only but okay so if we come back in a week then it'll be before the super bowl yeah we could do that it's, I'm, I'm fine either way um but I, I can guarantee you most people don't care about the super bowl that that's listening to this show at least right now most of them would care more about the commercials and the ad space, which is fine. It is a big business and it is rather entertaining, a heck of an event every year. So I get yeah. that. But yeah, stick around. Uh, continue to send your feedback if you like to podcast at antpruitt.com. That's podcast at antpruitt.com. Or hit us with the social media stuff. As I've said before, I'm not the best on that because I get a shit ton of messages and social media and most of it is pretty spammy and trolly and all that stuff and it's hard to sift through some of the stuff i get so i may miss it and i'm sorry if i have missed your stuff be sure to check out antperit.com slash prints if you want some art for your walls your best friends walls your favorite bars walls there's puzzles there uh, that's a lot. It's basically all of my, not all of my ph- photography, but a good bit of my photography that is available for prints. And I think it looks pretty damn good on your walls, especially those metal prints or the canvas prints. They're pretty daggone sharp. That is antpruitt.com slash prints. And um, if you're interested in getting me some beer, you can go to antpruitt.com slash beer and buy me a beer for as little as three bucks. Um, I just recently ordered some supplies that I needed for a gig and that money for those supplies came directly from people that bought me beer. So thank you because that's, that's the whole point of that fund is for me to reinvest it into all of my creative endeavors, not necessarily to just pocket it. Okay. So again, emperor.com slash And he doesn't always pocket it. He takes care of us. Yeah, it, it ain't pocketing nothing. <laughs> I trust me, I ain't pocketing nothing. He takes care of us. But stay tuned. Again, we're going to build the studio studio out more. We're going to have some video up, um, multi-camera stuff, all no, that. No, this time. The audio is going to get better and better. I'm continuing to work on the audio. So sorry for hurting your ears. Until next time, y'all be safe. Um, again, do something good for yourself, something good for someone else. And um, thank you again to Panford for the audio. Y'all take it easy.